Hi everyone, welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Hope you've all been staying really, really well during the Christmas break. I've had a bit of time off from doing my filming um, to get a few things done, a lot of resin work that I've been doing. Um, so I'm back today and I'm looking forward to being here with you. Today I'm going to be creating um, a few tiles for coasters and I'm using similar colours but I'm going to use three different techniques. Now I'll probably put these videos over three different videos um, so they don't go too long for you but I will be using this similar colour range. Um, doing these for a friend of mine who's requested um, these colours. I'll um, list all the colours for you in the description box below which you get to by clicking on the title of this video. The tile I'm using is 4 inches by 4 inches or 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres and I'm just going to be cleaning that with a little spray of the isopropyl alcohol and just wipe it over with a tissue and that's literally all the preparation I do. I don't tape off the back until I go to resin. So in the meantime I'll just paint straight onto it. So with this one I'm going to be doing a, a drizzle swipe and I'm just going to be then not doing a wreck and spin I'm just going to do some little tiny finger pops to bring some little tiny flowers into it so I'm just going to start off now with um, this color called Infinity by Araldo Di Piolo sort of a very gray sort of blue color now all these paints have been mixed with Australian flow troll to a consistency where when drizzled back into the container they just leave a little mound for a couple of seconds and then disappear. So I'm just going to try and incorporate all these colours. Um, the next one I'm going to put down is the Araldo Tranquility. Some of these colours are opaque, some are semi-transparent, some transparent, but for this technique it really doesn't matter too much how I lay them down and some are also metallic and some are non-metallic. This one's a Raldo Waikiki, it's a lovely turquoisey colour. So I'm literally just randomly putting little squiggles down. Sometimes if I'm trying to get a beachy theme I'll put blue at the top and the beigey colours down towards the bottom. But with this particular one today, I'm just literally uh, layering my colours and uh, in the hope that they will all come through when I do my swipe. They'll all be represented in some way, shape or form. I didn't put down a base at all today because there's no necessity when I'm going to be putting this much paint down. And always make sure you try and get some of the paint over the edges as well. The next colour is the Araldo Diode Blue, which is metallic, beautiful metallic blue. So I'm putting that towards the top so that it will show through a bit more. And then I'm going to be putting a colour called Greige, which is a mix between grey and beige. So I just want a little bit of that in there just to, as a bit of a neutral in amongst all the blues. Not too much though. And then I'm going to lay down the Araldo Metallic Waves, which is another beautiful blue. It's fairly bright. Just put a few strips of that through there. Make sure my edges are covered. And finally, just a couple of little pops of um, the Montmartre Pouring Paint gold which is my favorite gold not a lot just a few little pops here and there and that should be about enough okay so then i'll look at that and think is there anything that i really want represented there that i can't see very much um just probably a tiny bit of the dark blue which i put laid down first i'll just put a couple of little pops of that on top just to make sure that the dark blue comes through as well And I think I can pretty much see all the other colours there. So the next step is to get the um, cell activator, which is the Amsterdam Titanium White. 
which I've mixed with Australian Flow Troll. So I've basically used one part paint to four parts Flow Troll so that when it's, oops, uh, didn't mean that to happen. So when it's drizzled back into the pot, it bounces back onto the stick after about three or four seconds. So I mixed that um, one part paint to four parts flow troll. Now I've just made a blob in the middle there, but hopefully when I swipe that will um, correct itself. Oh, and I was also just going to add a tiny bit of the, um, I'll show you the bottle. It's the ready to pour acrylic pouring paint, luster white metallic pearl by Pouring Masters. I'm finding that this is giving some beautiful um, little cells. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this into here. Hopefully not too much. Just a few little blobs here and there. And hopefully that will help to create a few cells. Okay. So now to put the cell activator onto the card. This is just a playing card, a normal playing card. It's just, I find them quite easy to um, swipe with. And Kathleen Miller is the one I first saw do, using these. So you just put that much on, turn it over. And then very gently from top to bottom, we're going to swipe down. And there's some lovely cells coming up straight away. And as you get to the edge, don't wipe it off. Keep coming towards you so that Otherwise, if you push down, you'll get a bare patch. You don't want a bare patch. Okay, so now we'll put some more cell activator on our card. Always make sure that you wipe the card off and start with a fresh piece. And away we go again. Beautiful cells, lovely. Okay, well I'm really liking that. It's coming along nicely. So now I'll just use my heat embossing tool just to burst any bubbles and also to create any more cells. There's actually quite a lot of paint on there now. Um, so we'll just give it a small spin just to spin some of it off. Rightio, that's really pretty. So now I'm just going to do some little finger pops on here just to um, create some little flowers. So I'm looking for any spots where there might be a few cells together. You can see here. And it just creates those beautiful little flowers there. Any spots that you want to cover up as well or any cells, like here I can see a cell I don't like, so I'll just do that one there, and up here, along the edge. Seem to have a bit of a line there, so I might blow that off in a moment. So just here you can see there's a little cell that I don't particularly like, so I'll just do my little flowers on top of there. And just look for little spots that you feel like you might like to put your little Flowers. Basically, wherever you want to. It's so pretty. And this is a very simple technique, really. I think. Anyone can have a go at this and get a good result. It's a case of um, when do you stop? 
Oh, that's better. Sometimes when you press down and you um, get a little flower, you might think, oh, I don't like that one so much. If you just go down over it again, then you can find that it will come up different the second time. So if you don't like it, just have another go. Still quite a bit of paint on here, but I think it will dry all right. Sometimes if you've got too much paint on there, then when it goes to dry, the top um, will dry first. And then when the bottom dries, it will cause the top to crack. So always try not to have too much paint on there, but I, I do believe that this will be fine. Okay, I think that's just about enough of my little finger kisses there. interesting the paint's quite thick here but it's quite thin on that edge there right well I can see lots of colors in there that's great I think I might just leave that like that just enough says she doing one more oops i can see one there that i need there that's it leave it okay i'll bring you down for a close-up so here we are coming down for a close-up of this lovely drizzle swipe you can see the cells have come through really nicely there Oops, out of focus. And so we've got lots of cells and then the lovely little pops of colour there to create the little flowers. And I can see um, the greys just come through and the gold and all the different blues. So all in all, a very pretty piece, very quick to create and will look lovely once it's been resined with um, some glittery resin. So always remember when you pick this up to put it on top of a um, cup to dry, make sure that you wipe all the drips from underneath So because they will continue to drag the paint off as it's drying. Make sure you level surface and also make sure that all your edges are covered with paint as well. Okay, so that's it for today guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that little quick one and I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not too distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.